So what you want to do is go to Cydia. Just push it out like this. This video is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com forward slash Marco 21 to get your free trial today. What's up guys? Today I am going to show you guys um, a test on the Find My iPhone app. What I'm going to do is use my iPhone to find this iPod, test out some things like the messagings and the lock screen and the wipeout like, like um, so it will wipe out every single memory on here. So let's get started. Okay. So I got my iPhone here. Gonna launch the application. Find my iPhone. Just gotta type in my password. Okay. So it's trying to find my iPod iPod's right there as you guys can see. So I found it. What I can do is play a sound I'm saying Marco Jico 21. I'm trying to send it. And when you send it, should do it right away. Like give you the message instantly as you guys can see there. Marco Jico 21. Okay, and you guys can see on this one, I don't have a lock on this one. So if you need to lock your iPod, all you have to do is do remote lock and type in a password for it. Let's just type in 1997. Just like that. Actually, it says it's been locked. So now when I try to open my iPod Touch, focus, hmm. there we go. So when I try to open it, it's going to ask for a password. So if I type in a different password, it's always wrong. So 1997 and it unlocks. So the lock feature is really good. So now we're going to try out the wipeout feature remote wipe out or I mean remote wipe which means it deletes everything on your iPod. I'm gonna press that right now. Erase everything. Hmm. We'll permanently delete it from your iPod Apple ID password. Okay. This is the same password you use when you download download a like an application. Wipe and it should wipe out. Remote iPod will it's just saying it will send you an email confirming the wipe out the wipe. And now when I just press the home button the um iPod touch and I think it's wiped out everything. It's deleting everything right now. So let's let that stay there for a second. I'll fast forward the video right now. Hey guys, so um, I got it done. Uh, sorry I didn't record the whole entire thing. Because this, this process, I just realized, this is when I was like on Apple's website. It was going to take up to two hours. But this took up more than two hours, as you guys can see there. It took up about two hours and 30 minutes. So as you guys can see there, it says connect to iTunes. Now it's done. And that's mostly it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave it down. You know, that's comment box. Peace.